morning, folks. I wanted to share a little story with you. I, uh, I got an email or a message, a private message the other day from somebody. And uh, I want to share kind of his story without giving you too many details because I want to protect the guy's privacy, his anim anonymity, and uh, I'm not going to mention the website that he mentions. I'm not going to mention the hotel that he's staying in. And but this this whole video uh, is about getting drugged in Ecuador, and I'll get started on it right after this. Hey. Oh, rocket cheek, Hello there. So I got this message from my friend. He said, "Hola." On my last trip to Monta, I booked a room on this website and for a hotel that I'm not gonna name, but it's in Monta. He said, I don't remember all the details. I was drugged at night. Yes, I had a couple beers. I don't remember anything days before and after. I was kicked out of the hotel. They took all my money and my cell phone and they called the police. The only thing I had was a card from some friends who had a pizza shop and they came help me get cash to pay the hotel forty dollars after they robbed me he said had no cell phone lost all of his contacts on his phone i was f dash c k e d you know what that means you and i both know what that means uh, but they said uh no no friends found me a secure hotel now friends around the world were looking for me police were called but they said no reports of me missing i was glad i still had credit card that was working blah 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 okay so i don't know what happened to him i don't i i i, I have a suspicion i have a suspicion i know what happened to him i think he got drugged i think he went to either to a restaurant or maybe a bar i don't know he said he had a couple beers Everybody says they only had a couple of beers. I can remember, I used to say two or nine. But you ask any cop that's ever stopped a DUI or DWI suspect how much they've had to drink, and they all say a couple. But I'm not saying that about this guy. But, you know, he, from the way he described his experience, it sounds to me like he was a victim of a drug in Ecuador, they call it escopolamina. Okay, escopolamina. I don't know if that's the way you pronounce it or not, but it's the best I can do, you know. Uh, I did a little research on this. I mean, I, let me tell you what I know, and then I'll tell you what I found out from some verifiable uh, research through uh, AI. The what happens is an individual, usually guys, will go to, and, and by the way, I'm telling you this based on conversations that I've had with victims, okay? Real victims that this happened to. So what happens, like this guy, my neighbor, went to this little bar down on the beach there in Marcia Lago and in Monta, and he was probably the first one to, to arrive for the afternoon, I guess, or happy hour or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> and when he went in, he, there were a couple of girls there and it was just him. The two girls were fairly youngish. This guy is probably 65 or so. And they got to chatting. The next thing this guy remembers is that it was the next day, he was at home, he lived next door to me, he was at home, he was missing 500 bucks in cash, he was missing an iPad, and I think he said he lost a watch and a, his cell phone, and I think that was pretty much it, you know. And so he checked with the security guards to see if they, had any video of him coming into the building with anybody or if anybody followed him in or whatever. 
because he literally has no memory of what happened. But the video, uh, the guards had video of him walking these two girls out and taking them down to the end of the walkway to where they got in a taxi and left. And he's like, bye-bye. He's waving goodbye to him. These girls had just robbed him. And the bottom line is that these girls drugged him in that bar and he took them home and they robbed him. So beware guys, if you come to Ecuador and you go to a bar that's down on the beach and you see somebody that's catching your eye, you need to take some precautions, okay? Especially if you're gonna have drinks, you know? If you have a drink, keep it in your hand at all times. Keep your eyes on it at all times. Especially if you're sitting down or if you've asked somebody to join you, okay? Or you go join somebody else, you know, you want to keep an eye on that drink because the way the drug works is it gets put in your drink and it can take 15 to 30 minutes before it takes effect. And then you're totally subservient. Okay, I did a little research on this. I'm going to tell you what I found out about this. Uh, I have to pull it up here right quick. Uh, I, I did a little search on AI and I said, what is the drug that's most common in South America that makes people subservient? And here's the answer I got. I, in South America, a notorious drug known as scopolamine, scopolamine, here it is spelled right here, scopolamine, has gained infamy. It is often referred to as devil's breath due to its potent effects. Here are some key points about this mind-altering substance. Scopolamine, and they put another name here, buridanga, B-U-R-A-N-D-A-N-G-A. The source of it is derived from nightshade plants, the effects of it when administered can be removed, can remove a person's free will, rendering them highly susceptible to suggestion. Common use is criminals in Colombia and Ecuador have been known to use scopolamine to assault victims or rob them. Urban myths. There are countless stories about scopolamine, but it's challenging to separate urban myths from genuine cases. Danger level. It has been described as the most dangerous drug in the world. How it works, scopolamine can induce extreme relaxation, dry mouth, and constricted pupils. Victims under its influence may become immobilized, lose consciousness, or experience hallucinations. The drug's effects start within 15 to 30 minutes and can last several hours. Controversy and skepticism. Some experts doubt the validity of certain scare stories uh, related to scopolamine. Toxicologists question whether it's genuine or responsible for the alleged zombification of victims. You turn into a zombie. There is no evidence that it is being widely used in Europe. Obtaining scopolamine is difficult and it is not a drug that people seek out for pleasure. In summary, scopolamine's reputation as a mind control drug has fueled both fear and fascination, but its actual prevalence and impact remains subject of lots of debate. I'm going to put that in the description along with the sources for all my information. And the other piece of information that I got uh, that I'd like to share with you. Um, here are some things, general safety tips, okay, uh, related to this situation. Number one, stay vigilant. Be aware of your surroundings and the people you're with. Trust your instincts. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Uh, number two, watch your drink. Keep an eye on your berries at all times. Avoid accepting drinks from strangers. And if you need to leave your drink unattended, get a new one. Like if you go to the restroom, you know, and you come back. And, uh, <laughs> don't, don't do it, man. Number three, limit alcohol consumption. Oh, well, hell, that takes all the fun out of it. Uh, Drink responsibly and be mindful of your alcohol intake. Okay, that's for most people. Excessive alcohol consumption can impair judgment and make you more vulnerable. Really? I've 
boy, yeah, I've had excessive amounts before. Yeah, and I think I have had impaired judgment and yeah, made some pretty bad decisions too. Have a buddy system, that's number four. Whenever possible, go out with friends and look out for each other. Having a reliable companion can provide an extra layer of safety. Number five, plan your transportation. Pre-arrange your transportation or use reputable services. Avoid accepting rides from strangers and be cautious when using public transportation. Number six, keep your valuables secure. Be mindful of your belongings, okay, such as your phone, your wallet, any other valuables. Keep them secure to avoid potential theft or loss. Folks, in Monte Ecuador, my recommendation to you, if you're going to go to a bar, leave your cell phone and your watch and anything of value at home and just take enough money to that you think you need and when you run out of money go home number seven no emergency contacts familiarize yourself with local emergency contact numbers well just 911 will work okay uh, number uh, eight stay in well-lit areas stick to well-lit populated areas especially during the night avoid isolated or poorly lit places to reduce the risk of encountering Potential dangers. I don't go. I don't recommend going out anywhere in Monte at night, uh, unless you're in a taxi and you're with other people. But you know, you single guys that come down here and want to go party, uh, don't think that you're just because you maybe you're big and tough and all that, and uh, nobody's gonna bother you. But that's not. I don't recommend it. Number nine. Trust your intuition. I call that my gut feeling. Trust your intuition. If a situation feels uncomfortable or unsafe. Don't hesitate to remove yourself from it. Trust your instincts and prioritize your well-being. And then number 10, learn local customs and laws. Remember, personal safety is a priority and being proactive can significantly reduce potential risk. If you have specific concerns about certain areas or events in South America, feel free to ask for targeted advice. So that's it. There's a lot more stuff that I collected, you know, and about the drug and so forth and uh, actually what I did was I asked, uh, chat GPT to explain this scopolamine, uh, as if they were explaining it to a ninth grader. And here's what it said, what she said. I, I always refer to chat GPT as a she. Scopolamine is a medicine made from certain plants like belladonna and henbane. It belongs to a group of chemicals called tropane alkaloids, and it does something cool. It blocks the effects of acetylcholine in our bodies. I don't know what that is, but I'll look it up and put it right up here. Uh, now, this drug can make medical can has some medical uses. Doctors might have might use it to help with things like motion sickness, nausea, or before surgery to make things go smoother. But here's the tricky part: some people use it in a bad way, like in drinks, to make others feel sleepy and forgetful. So always be careful about what you're drinking, especially from people you don't know well. So that's, we, you know, I, I kind of, this kind of reminds me of the date rape drug that they have in North America. Uh, there's a drug there. I think they use the same drug really, I think. And they, but when I did the research on that, it kept making references to making people unconscious. Uh, I don't think people lose their consciousness on this copolamine, but I might be wrong. I'm certainly not an expert on this. And I don't want to sound like one, okay? Um, so, you know, guys, I, and I'm, I'm talking specifically to you guys, you younger guys that like to come to Ecuador and chase girls, young girls. And I mean, because I mean, let's face it, there's a lot of beautiful young women here um, I know it, it's very tempting, okay, to go to the bars and, you know, but just, you know, be careful where you go. Go with somebody else. If you're by yourself and you just got to go, then just use these common sense uh, tactics that I just listed off here. You know, print them up and put it in your pocket and read it before you leave. But... This, it, it's, petty crime here is really a nuisance. And I don't know if this would be classified as petty crime, but it certainly is close, okay? Because it's, they'll do this just to rob you of your cell phone or just anything. So some people have lost an awful lot. And, and they were, 
never lost consciousness and they just don't remember anything. So that's what I got to say about it. That's all I have to say about it. I just wanted to, uh, I, I'm not saying that my friend that wrote this note to me, I'm not saying that he, you know, went to a bar chasing young girls and looking for, you know, some action. But the, the, I, I brought him up because the symptoms that he described are perfect for what happens when you get drugged by this scopolamine. Okay, that's it. Thanks for uh, watching this channel. Thanks for subscribing. It helps a lot. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, bite me. And I say that with peace and love. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.